So let us see a few questions and answer in software engineering. Define software engineering. What is software engineering? Uh, let us have some uh, formal definition according to IEEE. Software engineering is the application of systematic, disciplined and quantifiable approach. SDQ, systematic, disciplined and quantifiable approach to the development, operation and maintenance, DOM, development, operation and maintenance of the software. What are the categories of software? Since, uh, you know, software are utilized everywhere now, in every field, in every regime of life. So we have various categories like system software, application software, embedded software, web applications, AI software, artificial intelligence software, scientific software, graphic software, you know, all these are the categories of software. Define testing. Testing is a process of executing a program with an intent of finding an error. Or uh, let me dilute this definition. Testing is done with an intent to find an error. It is a process to which is process which is applied to find certain error. What is white box testing or glass box testing or structural testing? White box testing is a test case design method. Please understand. There is nothing called white box testing or black box testing. This white box and black box, these are the test case, test case design methods. Because the test case design method is for white box or black box. Therefore, we call them these test cases when applied to, to test for the errors. We call them white box testing or black box testing. So white box testing is a test case design method that uses the control structure of the procedure design to derive the test cases. Uses the control structure of the, of the procedural design. Control structure is important. It is also known as glass box or structural testing. Now next is what is black box testing? Black box testing is a test case design method that focuses on the functional requirements of the software. Focuses on the functional requirement also known as functional testing. What is verification and validation? Verification refers to the set of activities that software currently implements a specific function. Whether you are making the product right, you ensure that the product is being made right. Validation on the other hand, this refers to the set of activities that ensure that the software that has been built is traceable to customer requirements, it fulfills the customer requirement or it is traceable to the SRS that is software requirement specification. What is debugging? Debugging is the process that results in the removal of error. So it occurs as a consequence of successful testing. You know, you might have heard about the brute force, cause elimination, etc. Define the cyclometric complexity. What is cyclometric complexity? Cyclometric complexity is a software metric that provides a qualitative measure of the logical complexity of a program. Let me uh, tell you again about the cyclometric complexity. You know, Maccabe, he has given this cyclometric complexity. So initially, it was for complexity only. It was uh, presented to find out how complex the software is or the program is. So it is a metric, software matrix that provides a qualitative measure of the logical complexity of the program. Next is what is error tracking? Error tracking is an activity that provides a means for assessing the status of current project. Activity for assessing the status of the current project. What are case tools? Computer aided software engineering tools. So computer aided software engineering case tools assist software engineering managers and practitioners in every activity associated with the software processes. So they automate the project management activities, manage all work products produced throughout the process and assist the engineer in their analysis, design, coding and test work. What is data design? Data design transforms the information 
domain model created during the analysis into the data structure that will be required to implement the software. So converting the design, you know, or you can say the information to the data structure level, it is the data design. Define the cohesion coupling. Cohesion is a measure of relative functional strength of a module. Coupling is a measure of relative interdependence among the modules. So if this is one module, it contains of elements, function, etc. So a module, how much these elements which are inside it, they are doing the same job which is assigned to them. That is the functional strength they are having is the cohesion. So we want cohesion to be high. If we have one more module, so if they are having certain interdependence, that is they share something, they are interdependence, they are not independent, then we say that this is the coupling and we want this coupling to be as minimum, as low as possible. What are the different types of cohesion? The different types of cohesion and couplings. So different types of cohesion are coincidental cohesion, logical cohesion, then uh, we have temporal cohesion, procedural cohesion, communicational cohesion. So all these type of uh, cohesion, cohesion, coincidental, logical, temporal, procedural, communication, these are the type of cohesion. So there are different types of coupling also. Data coupling, stamp coupling, control coupling, external coupling, uh, common coupling, content coupling. What is user interface design? User interface design creates an effective communication medium between the human and a computer. So you can also call it as a man-machine interface. Though it is used for hardware, but still, still, just to coin the subject here, the uh, word here. So user interface design creates an effective communication medium between you and the machine, that is your computer. What is meant by specification? A specification is a written document or a graphical model or a formal mathematical model or a collection of uses scenario or a prototype or any combination of these to specify something, uh, most often to specify the requirements. Define the process. Process are the series of steps involving activities, constraints and resources that produces an intended output of some kind is known as a process. So process are all the activities and with some input and output with certain constraints and resources. How this spiral model works? Spiral model. See, spiral model is like this. It has four quadrants. This deals specifically with the risk analysis. So it is a, because this spiral goes on. That is why spiral model is an evolutionary software process model that couples the iterative nature of prototyping. Iterative nature of prototyping with the controlled and systematic aspects of waterfall life cycle model. So iterative plus waterfall is your spiral. So it also has an emphasis on the use of risk management techniques. So what is a win-win spiral model? Win-win spiral model defines a set of negotiation activities at the beginning of each pass around the spiral. So one pass ends or starts after that, there are negotiations. And these negotiation, best negotiation, they strive for a win-win result. Mention the various views in system engineering hierarchy. So various views in system engineering hierarchy from top to, bound, uh, top to uh, bottom in order, these are world view, domain view, element view and detail view. What is software requirements definition? A software requirement definition is an abstract description of the services which the system should provide and the constraint under which the system must operate. What is SDLC or software development uh, life cycle? The SDLC or you know in terms of software we will write software. So the software development life cycle also referred to as the application development life cycle is a term used in system engineering, information system and software engineering to describe a process for planning, creating, testing and 
deploying these information system what are data acquisition system system that collect data from sensors for subsequent processing and also analysis these are termed as data acquisition systems so data collection process and processing processes may have different periods and deadlines define the software configuration model scm whenever scm comes you should always remember the word change so scm is the art of identifying organizing controlling modifications there is changes to the software being built by a programming team so it is an umbrella activity that is applied throughout the software processes what are scm activities scm activities are developed to identify the change that is control change ensuring that change is being properly implemented and reporting change to other who may have certain interest what are the advantages and disadvantage of white box testing first is the most important advantage is software structure logic can be tested the disadvantage is it uh, it doesn't ensure that the user requirements are met so functional testing is required for this so this test may not mimic the real world situations also what is meant by loop testing loop testing is a white box testing technique that focuses exclusively on the validity of the loop constructs so this technique can be applied to simple loops nested loops concatenated loops unstructured loop so all these simple concatenated unstructured and concatenated loop this is the fulcrum of your loop testing what is meant by smoke testing smoke testing is an integration testing approach that is commonly used when shrink wrap software products are being developed what is alpha and beta test alpha test is the test that is the, you know these tests are uh, they comes under the category of acceptance testing so alpha test is the test that is conducted at the developer side by the customer developer side by the customer beta test is a test conducted by one or more customer sites by the end user of the software so what is meant by the system testing system testing is actually a series of different test whose primary purpose is to fully exercise the computer based system is in completion in whole you know completing all when it is going to work how it is going to work what it is going to work so system testing means testing of a whole system so it verifies whether the system elements have been properly integrated and they perform the allocated function mention the categories of debugging approaches so there are three categories of debugging approaches first is your brute force then you have uh, backtracking and then cause elimination so brute force and then backtracking and then cause elimination see define the metric i triple e definition of uh, metric is it is a quantitative measure of the degree to which the system component or a process possesses a given attribute so quantitative measure of the degree of to to which the attribute or to which the component or process processes possesses or carries that given attribute next is mention uh, some of the process models appropriate for software to be engineered linear sequential or waterfall model prototyping model rad rapid application development model increment model spiral model win win spiral category of spiral model only and then component based development model what is adaptive maintenance see the maintenance are of four types in software uh, software development adaptive perfective corrective and preventive so adaptive maintenance is the maintenance to adapt software to a different operating system so it involves changing a system so that it operates in different environment from its initial implementation what are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, black box testing first is advantage is it simulates the actual system usage it makes no system structure assumptions disadvantage is that you can have uh, logical errors so potential of missing logical errors in software and possibility of redundant testing also so what are the broad categories of system requirements so system requirements broad category are functional and non functional requirements what are user requirements user requirements it should describe the functional and non functional requirement so that they are understandable by the system users who don't have detailed technical knowledge user requirements are defined using natural languages tables and diagrams and user requirements often have the constraint along with it 
What are test scenario? Test scenario is the hypothetical story to test the particular functionality of an application. So it's a hypothetical story. It serves as an input to functional testing. For test scenario, we need certain use case. Define an analysis model. An analysis model is a set of models that serves as the technical representation of a system. Define the prototype. Prototype is just an initial version of the software system which is used to demonstrate the concepts, try out the design options and generally to find out more about the problem and its possible solutions because prototyping is used when the user as well as the developers, they are not well aware of the requirements. So it's better to just by whatever user has presented, make a prototype, then he can add upon. What is the function of the user model? The user model establishes the profile of end users of the system. What is reliability? Reliability is the probability that a system will produce correct outputs up to given uh, some given time t. And reliability is enhanced by features that help to avoid detect and repair hardware faults. So a reliable system does not silently continue and deliver results that include uncorrected corrupted data. Instead, it detects and uh, if possible corrects the corruption also. For example, by trying an operation of uh, transient or intermittent errors or else for uncorrectable errors, isolating the fault and reporting it to the higher level recovery mechanisms, which may fail, fail over to redundant replacement hardware, or else by halting the affected program or, or the entire system and reporting the corruption. So reliability can be characterized in the, in the terms of mean time between failure, which is given by in hardware terms e to the power minus t by MTBF, where this uh, MTBF is mean time between failure. So we have various parameters of uh, this reliability, MTBF, fits, MTTR, availability and downtime. Then what is availability? Availability means the probability that a system is operational at a given time. Again, probability that a system is operational at a given time. So the amount of time a device is actually operating as the percentage of total time it should be operating. High availability system may report availability in terms of minutes, hours of downtime per year. Availability features allow the system to stay operational even when certain faults do occur. So a highly, highly available system would disable the malfunctioning portion and then continue operating at a reduced capacity, but it must, it actually is available or working. So in contrast, a less capable system might crash and becomes totally non-operational, not available. So availability is typically given as the percentage of time system is expected to be available. This is 99.999 percent per nights. Availability of the module is the percentage of the time the system is operational. And availability of hardware software module can be obtained by uh, this formula, which is MTBF by MTBF plus MTTR. So availability is typically specified in nines notation. For example, 399, 99.9, 5 nines as you have seen just nine, 99.999 availability. What is serviceability or maintainability? These two are together. So maintainability or serviceability. So serviceability or maintainability is the simplicity and the speed with which a system can be repaired or maintained. So if the time to repair a failed system increases, then availability will decrease. So serviceability includes various methods of easily diagnosing the system when problem arises. Early detection of faults can decrease or avoid the system downtime. For instance, some enterprise systems can automatically call a service center without human intervention. When the system experiences certain fault, system fault, the traditional focus has been on making the correct repairs with as little disruption to the normal operations as possible. What is traceability matrix? Traceability matrix is a document in which we map the test cases with the requirement. Again, traceability matrix is a document in which we map the test cases with the requirement, whether these test cases are made for certain requirement checking or not. So in general, we check whether the application works as per requirement or whether we had covered all the requirement functionality through test cases. Uh, list the metrics for specifying non-functional requirement. So the possible metrics that specify the non-functional requirements are speed, size, easy of use that is usability or reliability. What is difference between black box testing and white box testing? Black box testing and white box testing, actually we have known this, that they are test case design uh, strategies. So no knowledge of uh, internal logic of the system is used to develop the test cases in black box testing. It uses the validation techniques. It is applied later 
during uh, the stages that means the stages which are coming after the once you have made the software or created or coded then the black box testing may come it includes the unit testing integration testing system testing and acceptance testing white box testing the knowledge of internal logic of the system is used to develop the test cases is uh, required and it uses various techniques let us see this technique first uh, perform which are early in the testing process mention the various types of maintenance as i already mentioned there are four types of major maintenance corrective adaptive min, preventive and perfective what is the difference between a software and system engineering what do we say or differentiate when we say software and system engineering software engineering is concerned with all aspects of computer based system development including hardware software and process engineering while the system engineering is involved in spe system specification architectural design integration department so these are few important questions we took today in software engineering thank you so much take care